Good morning, everybody out there. Here's what's going to happen today on the show. At least this is the initial plan. I am going to try to use this new Fifine microphone boom arm, and I'm going to try to connect it to my desk here and put the Fifine gaming PC microphone on that boom arm. So that is what is on the plan for today. But let me bring in the folks from Amazon, and we'll go over that again. All right. Let's bring them in. Hello, hello, good morning, and welcome to the Ryan Swanstrom Show. I am Ryan. Today, we are going to try to attempt to connect this Fifine microphone boom arm. We're trying to try to connect it to my desk and then attach the Fifine microphone to that boom arm. That's what's on the agenda for today. Plus, we do have a number of other items in the carousel, a number of other items to talk about. It is the final day of the Amazon Big Spring Savings. And I will say I do think Amazon's sales today are even better than when they started the first day of the Big Spring Savings. Actually, the first day, I didn't think the sales were really all that good. Today, there's quite a few things that are on pretty good sales today. Uh, I also have a few printers that i might open up and get together for the show here uh what else do i have uh there's a couple of deals on some other some wi-fi accessories one of my shavers is on a deal today anyhow so there's a bunch of things if you have questions on remote work gear desks chairs monitors paper shredders printers things like that please feel free to jump out into the chat and let me know what questions that you do have. I'm going to spin myself over to Amazon, open up the live streams and see what's going on over there or if anything is going on. It's pretty quiet here on a Monday morning on Amazon. So let me throw out a question of the day. Full disclosure, I 100% forgot to prepare a question of the day. So let me think about this. You know what? I'm going to go with a simple one. What is the weather like in your area? Because it is snowing where I am. So I'm throwing that out for the question of the day. Let's get that scrolling across the bottom. I will type out. Over here, send that out. I'm going to send that out on the YouTube chat as well. Whew. All right. Okay, let's see if we can get this boom arm connected. This is the Fifine, they call this the Fifine heavy duty boom arm and i may even get a little bit closer to the camera up here you know i can do that because i can just wheel my my desk around but here is the boom arm it is attached right here i don't know if i can slide this off i'm gonna try i don't know i don't actually have a scissors in my office so I may end up using a slice. Well, so I'm gonna use my slice box cutter. I think it'll work. There we go, got that open. But here is the boom arm. Uh, this is the part that goes in down by your desk. You put that in there. Here's the arm where your microphone will connect. Uh, it is a 5 8 connector there. So a lot of your microphones like the Yeti, the Yeti Nano, they have 5 8 connectors on the bottom. So does the uh, Fifine microphone that I'm going to be attaching to it. Okay. 
So let's back up a little bit. Put the microphone kind of out of the way for now. So I'm going to take a look at some of the instructions here. Let's take a look. I'm going to come around. I don't know which direction I'm coming around here. I feel like I wasn't overly prepared for this today. There we go. I was going to see if they have, they do have some installation instructions. So installation of the stand. You connect the stand, screw the turning handle on the desk clamp and mount it to the edge of the desk securely. Tips. Make sure that both the top and the underside of the desk clamp are resting on flat surfaces. Uh, loosen the screw on the desk clamp. All right. So we're going to get the desk clamp here. It comes in this little box. Let's get this out and see how good we can do on that. I'm going to try to put it on the corner of my desk right back here just so that everyone can see where it's connected even though i know that you are on the wrong side here is what the desk clamp it just kind of looks like a c clamp it can go right there on the corner nicely my desk has a nice flat surface top so this is going to be easy to connect all right so we have that connected then it says Drop in the boom arm. So let's drop in. Ah, there we go. Got the boom arm in there. I This might be easier than I anticipated. So, boom arm is already pretty much put up. Let's see if we can get the cam the camera. Let's see if we can get the microphone on there. And then we will switch over microphones. So, this is the heavy-duty boom arm from Fifine. Installation went very simple there. Now, let's see if we can get the Fifine... Uh, microphone to hang up on there. So the microphone right here, it has a detachable base. And I, I should probably say this. Thanks to Fifine for sending a couple of these products over here for me to try out and test out. And we're gonna see if this... I don't know which way I connect this. Uh, there we go. There we go. I got it going. So here in, ah, uh, you can't always just trying to get this real tight on there uh, nice thing to note you can this part right here can swivel so your microphone can be kind of at any angle you want there is a adjustment knob right there if you want to you know hold this so it can hold the microphone straight up in front of your mouth i am going to try to plug in this microphone and then we're going to see if we can switch over microphones but here we're, we're even getting in a little bit closer this is going to be kind of fun because i've never had a boom arm microphone that i liked and i used so we'll see if this one works. 
Dano is here. Dano says, hi, Ryan. It's a big sloppy mess here. Weather-wise, it's snow yesterday and today it's raining. All right, so Dano, uh, maybe coming your way because I'm to the west of you. We got, we're, we're further south of you. We got pretty much only rain over the weekend. And only about a half an hour ago did it start to snow. And it's actually snowing pretty hard here. But we don't we don't really have much snow yet to speak of. Uh, well, it started the last half hour. It covered the ground, but there was none on the ground before that. So we'll see how long it continues. All right, I'm gonna plug in this microphone. This is kind of fun, uh, Dana. We're we're figuring this out. Well, I had to disconnect one of my microphones. So now we're using a microphone from one of the webcams. So uh, the audio probably isn't really great. Actually, you should tell me, is the audio good or terrible? I maybe think it's the audio from my Epic Cam. The Epic Cam is maybe the one. The camera is coming from my C302. So let me try the anchor. Now we're on the Anchor PowerConf C302 microphone, but we're gonna we're gonna try to get the boom arm plugged in in that microphone. So let's see what happens when I take this cord and plug it right into the back there. Oh, there we go. Now you should have some good crystal clear sound coming from the Fifine gaming PC microphone. It's got some lights on it. This actually looks pretty good. I like that it's closer to my mouth. I used to set them on my desk. I don't know. We'll see how much I like having the boom arm. My challenge with the boom arm is I have a tendency to move around my office so much and move around my desk. If I move around my desk now, it's tied to the uh, to the wall because the cord on this boom arm uh, is connected to my PC, which is mounted on the wall. But yeah, Dano says your audio sounds okay. It, it does sound like you're standing far away from it though. Yeah. And then Dano also said that sounds much better. I would hope this sounds better. I think this is kind of cool. Uh, I'm I'm kind of excited for the boom arm. This boom arm, I thought, was very, very easy to connect. So there, there is that there. I, I had a different boom arm one time, and I tried to mount my Yeti microphone on it, and it just I just couldn't get it to work. So this appears to be a little bit better here. And it makes me feel like I'm on a radio station here. Let's talk about the news and the weather. Today, we are having snowstorms. I like it. I like it. There we go. But that is some stuff from Fifine. So thank you to them for sending it on over so that I could test it out. Hopefully, you can hear how it sounds. Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. I, I may try with the boom arm. I might try to to mount some of my other microphones on that as well, maybe later on in the week or some other week. But that is the boom arm and microphone. I can change the color on the microphone. There you go. You got a yellow. Now you've got a little bit of a green, two-tone green on the bottom, yellow on the top. 
You got some blue and white. I think that's solid yellow, solid green, with a little bit of blue. I kind of like that. Solid red, sort of a teal blue, white. Oh, look at that. It's like breathing colors. Oh, it's rotating between colors. Now we're back to red. Oh, it changes colors that way. There's a lot of different settings on this microphone that I just haven't fully tested and played around with yet. So I'm kind of going through all the different settings here. I kind of like the yellow. We could try some yellow, some green, some blue, some red, teal. All right, I think I've gotten around all of them now. So this is a two-tone rotating colors here, I think. And then the next one, it's solid colors, but I think they go bright and dark, kind of like it's breathing. Hey, there, so there you go with the microphone from Fifine up on its boom arm. I think it's kind of cool. So hopefully you think I sound a little bit better than before, or I just like that there's things off my desk now and I can, you know, do that. But immediately after this, we will see why it's challenging to do this because now I need to uh, clean off my desk so that I can talk about my five or er, my HP office jet 8135 E printer. We might hold off on that printer for a minute though. I feel like I'm uh, Dano. Am I frozen on Amazon for you? Cause I keep freezing on Amazon from my side, but maybe that's just what I'm seeing on my end. Uh, Dano says, I did use the Panasonic shaver this weekend. It did all right. I shaved after I showered and didn't have any shaving cream. I felt the shaver was not gliding along my face too well. So I'm wondering uh, if you have a recommendation for a cream or gel to use with the shaver that might make for a smoother process. Uh, Dano said, you are not freezing. All right. Here's, here's what I'm going to tell you, Dano. I would tell you two things. If you're not happy with the shaver, I mean, Amazon lets you send them back. I mean, if you're not, don't spend $160 or whatever you spent on the shaver that you don't like. But my favorite shave gel is from... Nivea, and I will highlight that for you just in a second here. There you go. That's the Nivea shave gel. Uh, when I use shave gel, that's what I use. I also really like this. Like early on when I started, uh, <laughs> early on when I started, my Amazon lives before I got all the electric shavers, I tested edge, edge shave gel, Nivea shave gel and Gillette shave gel. I tested them all to see which one I liked better. And Nivea had the best combination of it smells good and it is really smooth and soft. I just liked the way it felt on my face and the, the canister or whatever you want to call it, the aerosol can appeared to have more shave gel in it than some of the other ones. Some of the other ones I'd get like three or four shades out of it and the can would be empty. Even though it was the same size can, they just didn't fill each one up as much. So I was happy with the Nivea shave gel there. Uh, that's the one I like to use. Joanna W is showing up over on Amazon. Two thumbs up. The weather, mother nature. She... 
it's in the menopause so, well i don't know about that joanna but uh it's snowing here it was pretty nice and warm last weekend it's snowing this weekend feels like winter came back we'll see how long winter sticks around here but it's back for a while uh nevia shapes like a baby's bottom uh it, it does it's it really is very very nice and smooth shave gel so if you're interested in good shave gel nivea is my favorite i don't think i'm alone in liking nivea the best it's not the most popular one out there i think edge and gillette are probably more popular but nivea just is i i think it's it's a better shave gel than the other ones and it's even on sale today uh Daniel says i still have until mid-april to try it out before i have to return it if i decide to do that i do have edge shave gel yeah, try the Nivea sometime. You don't have to get, oh, I don't know if they sell not a three pack on Amazon. But uh, even even if you, even if you, I, I'm going to tell you it's every bit as good as your edge. It's You're going to like it better than your edge. It may be more expensive than your edge shave gel. But like, even, even if you don't end up using it with your uh, Panasonic electric shaver, you can still use it with the straight edge uh, razor as well. So try it out sometime. It's it's uh it's good shape, Joe. <laughs> Joanna says smooth. Uh Joanna says I have legs and they so Joanna, do you use that edge shave gel? Not the edge shave gel. Do you use the Nivea shave gel? And I don't know that I care to get too far into this shaving of your legs thing but i just thought i'd ask the question since you brought it up joanna jumped over in on amazon and says hey dano so we're saying hello to people here okay what was i going to do now yeah so joanna i got a new boom arm right here and early on in the show we set it up. So here we have a boom arm today. Kind of fun. Kind of fun to have a boom arm and my microphone right up here. Uh, Joanna said, told Ryan last I checked, I had legs. Uh, I've used Gillette. Daniel's saying hi to Joanna. Anyhow, both of you need to try the Nivea shave gel. It's fantastic. Uh, although I don't know how much it fits into anything else that i was talking about on the show today but i do talk a lot about men's electric shaver so yeah joanna says i prefer the all-in-one so i don't even know what that is and you know what i'm i don't think i'm gonna go there <laughs> all right uh built in the razor okay all right i'm jumping off the shave gel con conversation for a second other things that i wanted to highlight that are on sale and covered uh, in my carousel today. One that I use almost every day, almost every day, I have the Renfo Smart Wi-Fi Body Scale. And oh, you can see the reflection here, here. Yeah, there's me. Reflection, you can just go infinitely back into the reflection. This is really hard to the reflection right there. Yes. Uh, it does things like it gives your accurate weight. One of the nice things I like about this one from Renfo, it, which is not always the same with every scale. You ever had one of those scales where you stand on it? It gives you a, a weight. You step off the scale. You stand on it again. It gives you a different weight. Like five seconds later. This one from Renfo doesn't do that. It gives you the same reading every time. I've tried it many times, stepping off and back on, see if my weight is the same. So I would guess it is accurate, meaning it's repeatable and you'll get the same uh, number every time you stand back on it. Then the other thing, it also gives you 
Uh, it also gives you uh, your body fat percentage, your muscle percentage, your uh, body density. It gives you a bunch of other numbers associated with your weight that can help you more than just your straight body weight. Uh, one of my favorites is water, uh, body water percentage. And that's a good one for me to follow because I have a tendency to not drink as enough water. And so I like to see when that one goes up and gets me into the green zone. Joanna, on your last comment, I don't know if that works. Uh, but Joanna, yes, water weight is also a thing. But I think I, I think that's why just your raw weight doesn't always give you all the answers and all the numbers because you know you can have a lot of water weight in there and that's not necessarily bad weight so yes air maybe air doesn't weigh a whole lot so but that one is on sale and for other electric shavers the braun series 5 the new 5100 series let me grab it Wanted to highlight this one because it's still on sale. The Braun 5118. The reason I'm highlighting this one is because it's the new one. It's got the turbo mode on it, but they did not significantly raise the price from what the former Braun Series 5 used to be. The former Braun Series 5, the 5018, is priced today at $69.99, and this one's on sale for $65.91. So this one is even less expensive right now than the previous version. So if you want a shaver, uh, this is what I would say. The Braun Series 5 is a great shaver. If you're looking for a budget shaver in the under $100 price range, maybe there's a teenager in your life and they're a new, new to the shaving thing. Maybe you just want an extra one you know, to put in the glove compartment of your car or to put in your camper for the summer or to take on vacations, the Braun Series 5 is a pretty good choice there. Gina Capone is jumping in, saying hello, hello, Gina. How did you enjoy doing your live the other day? So Gina Capone is another live streamer. She was out live, I don't, what was it, Thursday of last week? Wednesday, Thursday, I think. Maybe I'm getting the day wrong, but one of the days last week, Gina was live with Cheryl uh, talking about graduation because Gina graduated from sixth grade. Not really Gina. I believe Gina had a child graduate from sixth grade. And <laughs> when I tuned into the show, Gina was wearing a graduation cap. It's fun. The things you get to do on Amazon live. Gina said it was good. I suppose. But yeah, Gina, it's still fun to come out on Amazon Live. The people here are great. You do not make near the sales and money that you used to. But that's okay. I've decided I wanted to do it anyway. Because, yeah. And I'm also working on another tool to help me track some product prices and let me know when things are on sale. And so that one's going to be kind of fun when I uh, get that a little bit farther and share that out with people. So that'll be kind of neat. Joanna said he misses, he missed us. I did miss being live out here and talking to the people every morning. So I'm glad I made it back out here. Uh, Joanna says, Schick Intuition Sleek Razors for women. That's what she uses. Uh, it has the organic aloe. Uh, kind of built right into it. That maybe makes sense. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be an expert on this. Oh, that's kind of cool. That is kind of, I didn't know about that, but, you know, I don't use the women's shavers, so that's why I don't talk about them very much. I don't feel like I'm an expert there. Uh, Gina says, Cheryl and I are dedicating every Thursday to streaming. Well, good idea. Thanks for getting out there and getting back on this Amazon Live thing. It is it is different. 
it's not the same as it was two years ago, but it's still fun. And you still get to get out here and talk to some of the people and there's still viewers and listeners that like to tune in. Uh, Joanna says no separate gel saves time. Uh, here. Hello, Gina, Hi, Joanna. There we go. A right, couple other things I wanted to highlight that are on sale today. And then I was going to get to my printers and the show may be shorter than usual today. I don't know. Maybe not. I guess I do have a lot of other items to talk about. Uh, Joanna says, I hadn't saw you lately. I think Gina just did their first show last Thursday evening. Uh, her first show in a while last Thursday evening. So look for Gina and Cheryl Thursday evening and enjoy that. Go ask them questions. Go heckle them. Gina says, Joanna, I haven't been online in one and a half years. Well, welcome back to the show. Yes, come heckle, Cheryl, and yeah. Gina, I got a question for you. Do you remember when you and Christina used to show up to my shows and you you two like ganged up on me on the shows? Yeah, that was the good old days. No, you guys used to make fun of my abacus over here. And then you got me so distracted all over the place. Anyhow, thanks for stopping by. Oh, other things that are on sale this week in the Amazon world. Uh, lawnmowers. Greenworks lawnmowers. A couple of different configurations are on sale. I feel strange talking about a lawnmower today because it's snowing outside. Let me open my window real quick. You guys don't get to see, but yes, it's still snowing outside. They've been telling us all weekend we were going to get snow and it just never happened. And now that it's Monday morning, it didn't start till about 8.30 Monday morning and then it started snowing pretty hard. So yeah, we're going to, I think we're supposed to get multiple inches of snow, maybe three, maybe six. I don't know. Uh, I've heard anywhere from three inches to 12 inches. I don't think it's going to be 12 because it didn't start early in the weekend. But it's coming down and it's snowing. Uh, stop by on Wednesday, maybe I'll tell you. But it's snowing outside and lawnmowers are on sale on Amazon. So if you live in one of those parts of the world where it is warm and sunny, you might be mowing your lawn. I would tell you three weeks ago, I thought I'd be mowing my lawn right now. Three weeks ago, it was... 65 70 degrees outside and we thought spring was here and then it got cold this last week and then it snowed this weekend so i don't have to mow my yard quite yet but i used to do a lawn mowing show for those of you that remember i'd take my lawnmower outside and i'd go mow the yard and it was kind of fun uh, yes but right now greenworks they got an 80 volt uh 21 inch brushless cordless lawnmower combo kit here uh, for 647 is the price on that. It includes the lawnmower. It's a 21 inch, 80 volt lawnmower, a 13 inch string trimmer, and a leaf blower, all in one. And they all run off the same 80 volt batteries. You do get, I believe, two of those 80 volt, two amp batteries. And a 30-minute rapid charger for it. Okay, let me close this down. Uh, Gina says, yes, and we were the dynamic duo. You two were the dynamic duo. Gina, did you do did you do a live stream with Christina not too long ago? Or am I way off on that? Uh, you did one a while ago. Yeah, a cooking one. See, I totally missed that. I don't watch as many of the Amazon live streamers as I used to. I About a year ago, kind of like everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people, except Rome, kind of quit and got off of Amazon Live. Rome continued to do it. Rome 
if you're out there, thanks for holding up Amazon Live for all the rest of us. Uh, TP Link has a couple of things on sale. If you need a router, here's one from TP Link. I kind of think this is the AX3000 instead of the AX1800, but I believe they are the same. They just, the 3000 puts more, more throughput in your Wi-Fi than the 1800 does, but the 1800 is a little bit less expensive. And for a lot of use cases, the AX1800 is probably the better choice. Uh, Gina said, I think Christina still went live. Christina has gone live a few times, but not near as much as she used to. Rome is the only one that, like, he kept doing his show multiple days a week. Yeah. But, yeah, Christina has done a few shows the last year. But I remember for a while when she did her workouts, like, three, five days a week in her garage. Yeah. Joanna says, yeah, very rare here. What did you cook on the cooking show, Gina? What did you make with Christina? Pasta. That would make sense. Was it New York pasta? Because I know you both hail from the New York area. I think you were you were neighbors back when you both lived in New York on Long Island. It was homemade. I don't know how to say that word. Gnoshi. Gnoshi. Is the G silent in that? Gnoshi. Catherine Garcia. Welcome to the show, Catherine Garcia, over on Amazon. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, yes, Catherine, I am Ryan. I talk a lot about uh, remote work gear. So things like desk chairs, headphones, paper shredders, printers, things like that. Microphones. I set up my Boomar microphone today so that I could use it on the show. So thanks for stopping by. Uh, Catherine, let me know if you happen to have any questions or feel free to stop by. Uh Another time today. Oh, Gina says it's, yes, it's silent. Joanna says I'm hungry. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you with the food there. Joanna uh, Joanna said, yes, I also talked about shavers. Uh, yes, Catherine, if you're still here, I still, I do talk a lot about men's electric shavers and men's shaving. I talk about quite a bit. So if you have any of those questions, let me know. I probably have as many men's electric shavers as any of the other Amazon live streamers. This top shelf is full of shavers up here. I've got the, uh, all the bronze, the Norelco's, although Norelco came out with some new ones in the last few months. They look very similar to the old ones, but I haven't got them. Like I have the Norelco 3,800, but I don't have the Norelco 3,900, which is the new one. It looks the same. I don't know what the difference is, but I maybe need to try it out. Uh, Joanna said, what's your shredder situation? That's a great question. I only have one shredder anymore left in my house, and it is the Bonson. And thank you for bringing that up, Joanna, because the Bonson is even on sale today. It's an eight-sheet micro-cut paper shredder. Micro cut means it cuts those uh, papers into really small, tiny little chunks. And I can maybe show you how small those tiny little chunks are. Let me pull one out for you. Like that. That is the tiny little chunks that the Bonson cuts your paper into. It's a great little shredder. It can handle eight sheets at a time. I believe it has four minutes of consecutive runtime. So that means you can shred eight sheets, eight sheets, eight sheets, eight sheets for four minutes at a time. But before I guarantee that four minutes, let me see if I can 
check that out. It can do five minutes of continuous shredding. So I was even less. And it says it can shred 192 sheets of paper in five minutes. But the Bonson, it's on sale. Uh, $42.49. That's probably about as good of a sale price as I've ever seen on the Bonson eight-sheet paper shredder in a couple of years. When it goes on sale like this, that's the price that it goes on. All right, so I'm gonna put this back on the shelf, but that's the Bonson eight sheet cross cut paper shredder. Hoo wee. And now I'm gonna bring up just a couple of other, I feel like I could bring this in closer and muted myself there move this up just a little bit like that there we go maybe i can do that i don't know if that sounds any better any different you can bring it up even farther i can talk right through the microphone uh yes so there you go Catherine garcia is saying hello again hello Catherine. thank you for being here couple other things I wanted to highlight. The Soundcore Anchor Q30s. I don't have the Q30s in my office. I have, I do have the Q30s at my house. Uh, they're in another room somewhere. But the Q30s are a lot like the Q45s. Which, these are the Anchor Q45s, but the Q30s, I would say, are a little bit more budget friendly. So, and I really like their sale today, $55.99 on those Q30s. So if you're looking for a good headset, good wireless headphones, I think the Q30s are $55.99. I think that's a great price on those today. Uh, I do believe the Q45s are also on sale today for $99.99. So if you're interested in those, have a look. I do think the Anchor Space Ones were also on sale, maybe for $79.99. So a bunch of uh, Anchor Soundcore headphones are on sale today, if you're interested. Okay. Energizer AA batteries. If you need some, they are on sale today. So you can get a 32-pack. Let me check that. Yes, a 32 pack of AA batteries for $16.13. So uh look into that. If you need some batteries, I like I don't always get the Energizer batteries, but Energizer and Duracell batteries, I think, just last a little bit longer in some devices than your more budget-friendly Amazon Basics batteries, which I have a lot of. But I've noticed, and my children have told me that in the xbox controllers the energizer batteries just last longer than the amazon basics ones so i may have to pick some of those after the show today pick up some of those energizer batteries to use in some of the xbox controllers that we have uh joanna says i need to see if they still have docking stations on sale from anchor uh Yes, remotes eat batteries. Remotes do, but I think the the Amazon Basics ones are fine in the remotes because the remotes don't take that much power. But yeah, depending on how many remotes, you can have a lot of different batteries that you need. Okay, Joanna, what type of docking station are you looking for? Because I do know that Anchor had a few of those on sale today.
If you're looking for a surge protector, power strip, Belkin has their, and mine's not in the office. It is in one of the back rooms. And all of my Wi-Fi stuff is, uh, all my Wi-Fi stuff is plugged into it. It powers the internet at my house. The Belkin surge protector. It's got 12 AC outlets. They all have little covers. So you can close out all of the outlets on top of there. It does also have surge protection for phone lines and coax cable if you need that. But it's pretty much the same design. It's been around for 20 years or so. And it just works well. I have it mounted hanging on the wall. So it has little uh, holes in the back so that you can put two screws in the wall and hang it on the wall. Uh, Joanna says, I did even try rechargeable batteries for a while. Laptop plus two monitors or my Samsung for Dex. So let me just do a quick little search out here on Amazon. Does your old Dell monitor have an HDMI output on it? Because here, I will add, this might be a good choice. I do think Anchor is the way to go with a docking station though. But I don't know if, I don't think I have this one at my house. From Anchor. But yeah, the Anchor 553, Joanna. Yeah, the 553. It's got two HDMI outputs on it. Plus it has, what else does it got on it? Uh, an Ethernet jack, an SD card reader, and does it have some USB ports on it? Yes, a couple of USB ports. So I think that's probably a decent, a decent setup. Oh, it's even got some USB. It's got two USB 3.0 ports, one USB C port, a micro or an SD card reader, two HDMI outs, and Ethernet port on it. So that might be just what you need to plug it all in. It is on a real good sale today, down from $69.99 to $39.99. So definitely, uh, uh, there you go. All right. Uh, Joanna says, I was gifted one of the hubs you just mentioned that gives you individual control, one HDMI display port, and then USB-C on the QQH. My surge protector, unfortunately, only has old USB. Yeah, most of the, you got to get some of the newer surge protectors to have USB-C on them. USB-A is the old one, the old rectangular USB-C or the old rectangular USB called USB a, uh, wait, which anchor louder? <laughs> I was in between room, which anchor I put it in the, my carousel on Amazon. It's highlighted down below the anchor five, five, three, uh, sort of docking station hub there. It gives you two HDMI outputs, a USB C two USB A's and an ethernet port. So have a look at that one. It might be what you're looking for. Uh, maybe if Adam from Anchor would stop by the show, uh, he'd have some other suggestions for you. 
but he he sometimes is around in the evening on some of the other live streams. He was on Rome's show the other night, right before I got there. I just missed him. I need to send him an email, though, see how he has been lately. All right. <laughs> China says it's going in the cart. Well, there you go. You can get that and pick up some of that Nivea shave gel to go with it, and oh, it's gonna it'll change your life. All right, it probably won't change your life, but you might like it. Couple of the Logitech keyboards that are on sale today. If you're out looking for a new keyboard, Logitech MX Keys Mini. I can find it is right here. This is the keyboard that I used at my desk for almost two years. Very, very small, very, very minimalistic design. It's a, it's a, I thought it was very comfortable. Very great keyboard. I really liked the Logitech MX Keys Mini, but. Uh, my friend Daniel over at Logitech said that's a great keyboard, but he said, let me try a different keyboard for you. So he sent over the MX Mechanical Mini, which is a mechanical keyboard. And this is the, let me see if this is the clicky version. Yes, this is the clicky version. So you can hear it. It's got those loud clicky keys. Everybody doesn't like that. I do. So if you are looking for a clicky keyboard, it's a mechanical keyboard. You can take the keys off if you want to, the keycaps off and put different keycaps on there. It is. They are sort of low profile keys. So they're not the big tall keys, but it is also a good keyboard. This one on a great sale today at $119.99. <laughs> my legs would never be the same uh i wish i paid that for mine maybe i can get it in a different color clickety clickety clack <laughs> maybe i'll try that one uh joanna said mine's only that just came out a little over a year ago I don't know exactly what you're trying to say there. Are you talking about, do you have the MX mechanical keyboard or do you have, or are we not talking about keyboards there? But yeah, the price on the Logitech MX mechanical, normally it sits at 149, today it's 119. So it's a great uh, deal on a mechanical keyboard. So now I use this one on my desk rather than the MX keys. I can't say anything bad about either one of them. I think they're both fantastic. I'd be happy to use either one uh joanna says the mx mini keyboard you have the quiet one the one with the linear keys i think is the quiet one uh tactile is a little bit quieter i think linear is the quietest so yes logitech's got a number of their products on sale today Uh, the first one I showed, the MX Mini, the MX Keys Mini. It's, yeah, normally that one's $99. Today it is $79. So it's a, it's a great keyboard. I do, I do like that one. Nothing bad to say about that. I do have two printers that I was maybe going to talk more about today, but I don't know that that's going to happen since we're kind of running out of time. The... I was hoping to get these put together this weekend, but it didn't happen. The 8135 from HP OfficeJet, sort of all-in-one printer, copier, scanner, faxer. There it is. I'm going to try that out later today. And then I also have this newer brother laser printer. It's only black and white, but I'm kind of excited to try this one out. It's supposed to print 
like 1,200 sheets before you need to get new ink. So I'm excited about that because I print things at my house every week. And I might like the laser printer, even though it's black and white. A lot of the things I print are only black and white. Uh, Joanna says, I'm playing with the smaller portable printers. I had a smaller portable printer. Uh, are you talking about the printers that do just one sheet of printing at a time? I had one of those and didn't really, like, I didn't have a need for it. I'm rarely, am I driving around and do I need to print something out? If you're a realtor or a rental person and you got to drive across town and show somebody an apartment uh, and you're like, oh, we need to change this contract and reprint it out. That's where I can see those small portable one sheet printers really make sense. I never really had that use case. So I've just kind of stuck with the ones that sit on my shelf and try it out. Uh, Joanna says, Fomio has a multi-role now. Try thermal. Yeah, the 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 portable one I had was a thermal printer. <laughs> Joanna says, I have the Dino all-in-one uh, DeskJet 4150. I will say this, though, if you have one of those older printers and it works for you and you don't have complaints on it, just keep going with it. Because a lot of times you're going to get a new printer and they don't always work. Uh, fantastic. Like a lot of people just have troubles with printers. So I say, if you find one that you like, just stick with it. Uh, Joanna, I actually used to have the HP 4155E, which I always thought was a pretty good printer, but it worked for a while. It didn't print quite as fast. I like the 7255E on my shelf back there, but I'm kind of excited to try out the 8135 and the new brother laser printer. I may at the end of my week get all of those on my shelf up here. I don't know. We'll see if it happens, but uh maybe it will. <laughs> Joanna says your older printer's getting a little moody. That's why I'm thinking thermal. Yes, those printers. So I say I keep going with it as long as you can, and then it kind of lets you know when. It's had enough. It stops to work. Yeah, it stops being reliable anymore. But I think that's probably about where I can end the show for today. I wanted to sort of wrap it up. Uh, talking about the printer one more time. Dano says, I have the HP LaserJet M110WE and really like it. I had that printer for a while too. Uh, it was, it's small. It's pretty small and tiny. It's about as close as you can get to a portable printer without it technically being a portable printer, but it was very small, fits nicely on a desk or a shelf. Yeah, I used to talk about that one a lot, but I all of my printers, I had them all in my office last year and uh, I got rid of them, gave them away or sold them to some different people because I just didn't need them all in my office and so I don't have them anymore. Uh, Joanna says you have to unplug it and redo every time you print. Yes, that's a pain. That's why I love the 7255E. I don't have to do that with that printer. Uh, anyhow, I wanted to wrap it up and uh, I did successfully set up the five fine uh, heavy duty boom arm over here, which you can see it's holding up my microphone this here. I, what do you guys think Did was the audio better on the show today or did you not really notice any difference in the audio or didn't care at all but uh so i set up the five fine heavy duty boom arm here for the microphone and then i put the five fine gaming pc microphone right on the boom arm so uh that's what what i did on the show today i thought it was pretty successful the boom arm installation was very simple very very simple so not much to say there. Joanna said, I missed that part. Yes, you did. Well, I anticipated it was going to take me longer than the two and a half minutes it took me to put it together. But, you know, I've done, I've put enough things together on Amazon live shows that I don't try to do multiple things in one show because sometimes you run into problems and it takes longer. Yeah. <laughs> it was working just like... I don't know if I was just that good. I think it was just that easy. 
just that easy. Anyhow, thank you everybody for tuning in to the show. Thanks for being here. I will be back again on Wednesday to talk. I, hopefully by Wednesday, I will have gotten a few of my printers, one or both of them set up and yeah, maybe we'll do some printing demos with those. I don't know, but I'm hoping to get those set up. Maybe get some video shot of them today or tomorrow. But thanks for being here, everybody. Uh, I'm going to go try to enjoy some of the snow outside. Uh, try not to scoop too much of it. Uh, Joanna says, enjoy your Monday. Uh, everybody else, enjoy the week. See you all on Wednesday. Hopefully have a great day. I am out. So I'm going to end on Amazon now. Goodbye, Amazon. We are still live over on the uh, YouTube and LinkedIn zone. Thanks, YouTube and LinkedIn, for being here. As always, if you have any questions, uh, send me a message or leave a comment, and I will help you out. But I'm going to end the show for now. Thanks, everyone. I'm out. Goodbye.